Merry meet everyone. This is Shiv Shakti from Goddess Breath, and of course, I'm here to give you your weekly reading. I hope you guys had a great, great weekend. And I'm sounding a little hoarse because I've got a bit of a cold. <laughs> okay, um, so this is a bit of a challenging week. Not a difficult week, just a challenging week. But it's going to be an interesting week. So this is Monday and Tuesday. Is a ten of wands. It's about a lot of burden. It's about a lot of. Um, it's a lot of responsibilities that you're carrying around, and sometimes those responsibilities are not even yours. The question is, why are you carrying them around? I do see that you're helping everybody around you very beautifully and very successfully, but the fact is, maybe you need to start helping yourself, and that's exactly the, the theme that's kind of showing up in my life as well. Um. Another thing is that wherever you're reaching or want to reach looks a little too further down, looks looks very distant to you for the simple reason that how much you're carrying is heavier and you can't just like sprint there. You're not light, you know. But the minute you shed all that, the minute you just give up on all that, it will become easier for you to reach where you want to reach. So Monday and Tuesday are about understanding what you need to carry with you, what you need to drop away. And what you really, what you really think is important for you, and how much of it you decide to do for someone else. Last, the last this weekend was all about you. You know, this is a carry forward of that energy. You, you, you. You have to understand. You have to decide, and you have to, you have to really put your head to taking care of you. In a way, this is a number one card. A number one card and its energy is extremely interesting because it can go either ways, you know. So you decide what what you want this Monday and Tuesday energy to be like for you. Do you want to be burdened and you know carry around the world's troubles, or do you want to get up and say, "Fine, I'll decide. I have them, but I'll decide what I want to do with them." Right now, Wednesday, the Hanged Man. It is the energy of letting go. It is the energy of sacrifice in the way. This is the god Odin, who is uh, the father of the runes. Um, in gaining wisdom, in the in the need to gain wisdom, he sacrificed one of his eyes. You know, and he's much like the the Lord Saturn. You know, in um, in other mythology. Uh, he he gave away one eye as well. Saturn is the one eye god, and this guy just gave away his one eye so that he would see the truth of all the situations that he was around and he was in, because he wanted the ultimate wisdom. He channeled the runes for himself. So Wednesday, you have a very 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 powerful moment. After all the decision making from Monday and Tuesday, you have Wednesday, which is so completely powerful, where you can gain the knowledge that you needed. It may look difficult. It may feel like, what just happened to me? Why did it happen to me? Oh my God! You know, it may feel like that, but the fact is that it's a very powerful space to be in. Extremely powerful space to be in. So you have the option to make that sacrifice for yourself if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But if you do want to make that sacrifice, it's up for the taking for you. And usually, when you make this kind of a sacrifice, you know, it's a uh, it comes with amazing rewards, so think about that. And in general, letting go on a lighter note, letting go is the theme for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The Seven of Pentacles. After you've decided what to do with the burdens, and you've decided to let go of a few things, then it's time to sit back and just look. Just look at what's left, you know, just like take stock of your situation to see how much you've earned, how much you've not earned, how much you've given up, how much you've not given up. Make a few changes of giving up a little more or just keeping back a little more. Deciding how you're going to go forward to do what you want to do. That is extremely important for you, right? And uh, it's, it's also about understanding where you need to rebuild. It's about taking a moment to realize that this is my space now 
and this is how I want to work with my space. No matter what happens, this much I have to do or this much I'm going to do. Right? So that is what it is all about. But it's a very observant and a very, um, I wouldn't call it judgmental, but a very decisive, pre-decisive space. You know, when before you make a decision, how you take stock or everything, how you look at everything, how you study everything. So yeah, it's like a studious, observant um, decision, pre-decision making phase on Thursday and Friday. Right? And now for our card. Oracle card. It's the same one. It's the fairy ring witch. Now, like she said, you know, she usually talks about how emotions are extremely important for you. If you realize in this week, you're going to go through so many emotions. The realizing that there is burden. The understanding that you need to let go of this. And to stand back and say, okay, I need to plan now. Right? There's a lot of emotions that you're going to go through. There's going to be fear. There's going to be anxiety. There's going to be worry. There's going to be anger. There's going to be uh, hope. There's going to be calm and relaxation finally after letting go of stuff. So, again, she says just the same thing. That you have to have a very strong emotional side to you. And once you master your emotions, everything else will be easy. The entire week that sounded so difficult actually will be easy if only you can master your emotions and not feel that they're going up and down, up and down, I can't take it anymore, oh my god. Imagine this, if the ocean suddenly decided to say that I don't want waves, the waves are very painful because they keep going up and down and they keep you know, hitting me on the shore and they keep going back here, I can't understand what is happening. For us, emotions are these waves. It is time we accepted the emotions and it's time we started learning how to ride the wave. Yeah, This is all about riding the wave. This week is a strong week about community, making new decisions, using your emotions to empower yourself and to realize how people actually value them for you, no matter what. Again, it's all about you, 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 you. You are the most important thing this week. Last week, it was a happy space. This week, it's a challenging space. But it's still all about you. I hope you guys have a very, very, very beautiful weekend. And there's challenges and always opportunities. So I hope you see the opportunities and not just get bogged down by the channel. Channel? Challenge. <laughs> have a great week, you guys. I love you. I'll see you on the weekend. Bye-bye.